Hi everyone, it's Sally here. So I just finished these two naked journals. I have, was kind of running low on them and my neighbor was interested in getting one and I wasn't sure what kind of a selection I have down at the market because they're all down there and I don't have them here with me. So I will have to look and see what I've got. But in the meantime, I did make these two this week. They're going to be um, just $50 naked journals. So let's take a look at them. I Let's look at this one here. It's, the, it's a little bit larger than the other one. Just a little bit thicker spine. So it has five signatures and this, this one only has four. So uh, we have a story of the golden age and the valley, the valley of the giants. Um, I really like this cover. I've had this gold coin for a while. It's a 1967 coin. I'm not sure what country it's from, but I, it's, a, it's a half penny and it's got this neat looking sailing ship on it. So I thought that would look pretty on this one here because it is about traveling. So here's the cover. And on the inside, I put some, and it's kind of hard to see the pattern, but this is some handmade paper from Nepal, and it has a, these leaves, this leaf pattern is imprinted on there. I like how that looks. And uh, so let's just take a look at the signatures and see what, we, what we've got here. So uh, some paper from the Walter Foster book. I have a few of the really, really old ones that are my favorites. I love the colors in them. They're just a little bit more vintagey looking. I put a lot of blank paper in these naked journals um, for writing or drawing. Could be used as a glue book. Uh, some of it is heavier, um, like mixed media paper. One of my jelly prints, but I tea stained the paper that I did my jelly prints on, so it's it has writing space on the back. And I did get the new mushroom book, so now yes, I'm using more pages from the mushroom book. Isn't that gorgeous? This is watercolor paper. Uh, very, very old. It's a print of a very old Chinese tapestry. A nice parchment paper. I think these, yeah, this is a Van Gogh. These are some Van Gogh portraits. This one and this one. And a little pocket with a tag. This is using the magazine resist technique. I really loved loved doing those. I might have to do some more because I've kind of used up what I've got and I've, I do have some ideas of other uh, techniques, things I want to do with that technique. Some music paper. So this uh, signature begins with a Georgia O'Keeffe print. This is just a little journaling card cut from some Tim Holtz paper and an altered Rolodex card. This pocket is made from what was left after I cut out uh, these shapes with my die cutting machine. I liked the reverse, you know, look of it. So it's basically white paper on top of black paper. This is a part of a Cavallini poster on butterflies. This 
is one of the French magazine pages I got from that lady that's a friend of mine. So I used some pages from different field guides. I love the way field guide pages just fit in this size journal. They're just um, usually maybe just a little bit small, but um, really a nice fit. So a little tuck spot here made out of a snip snippet strip and this interesting elephant journaling card. So even though these are naked journals, I did put a, you know, I just put a little bit of, I had to put a little bit of stuff in there. I had to put a little few pockets in and had to put something in those pockets, of course. I think this is a page from the original book. Yeah. This is one of the illustrations. I love how they put this thin paper on over illustrations in those books. Just think that looks cool. And this is a map from the original book and it kind of folds out. And the area on the map I think is, is part of Greece. But I'm not per, not 100% sure. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on so I can't really see the map. Love these cats. Kind of had a thing about cats lately. Another beautiful little field guide. So there's a lot of writing space there. Jelly print. This is a page from a children's book. This is from the original book. I love that pic. I just thought that picture was really pretty. And here is the title page of the original book. So it's Heroes of the Golden Time, Olden Time, a story of the golden age. 1907. I love this uh, from one of the really old Walter Foster books. It's definitely has a 1930s, 1940s look. I, I know I've seen pictures of my mom and uh, when she was younger, this kind of looks like her. And they, they did pluck their eyebrows like really thin. They were just basically penciled on. Very pretty. Some more watercolor paper, tea stained paper, drawing paper. It's really nice. Parchment paper has a lot of cotton content. This one too. This is uh, from a book I have of Watercolors from Stuttgart. Look how these two pictures look next to each other. This is from my Vincent Van Gogh book. A street scene there in Paris, I think. I would really love to go to that Vincent Van Gogh um, interactive or immersive or whatever it is show. It's, it's coming to Oregon this winter. Um, I don't know. I don't think it would be cool to go. So there's an old photo in there. Kind of You can just kind of see it through the window. This is an security envelope, which I turned inside out, and then tea stained. It's one of the old logging maps. This is from a date book I tea stained.
Another page from the original book. So on the other half of the envelope, just one of the vintage playing cards and a little bit of Tim Holtz ephemera. Neat sunflower print from a botanical. And that's it. So that's it for this one. And I love the cover on this. Look at that. Look at those trees. And I just love the colors. That the Valley of the Giants. So so it must be the giant redwood trees because look at how the small this horse is in comparison. This one had some discoloration on it, but I didn't think it distracted from the cover at all. I still actually kind of like it. <laughs> and on the inside of this one, I put some really pretty Italian paper. Beautiful print with just a little bit of gold in it. I thought the colors went really well with this. And then this page from the butterfly book just kind of blended in too. Looked really nice with it. So here's the title page, The Valley of the Giants. And author of oh so written by Peter B. Kine, author of Cappy Cappy Ricks, The Long Chance, etc. And so 1917, 1918. This is the 1918 edition, so it was reprinted. Must have been a popular story. So this one is very similar, so I'm going to really flip fast. Th flip through it really fast. Another one of the cat prints. So it has really nice quality paper, watercolor paper, some children's writing paper. Oh, I like that. So this one has kind of cool. It has all the parts of a bird. It's from, from one of my little field guides. Logging map. So a little pocket with an altered Rolodex card. Parchment paper, drawing paper. So here is a snippet strip belly band with some beautiful mushrooms. Georgia O'Keeffe print. That's one of my jelly plate, plate prints, prints with an old postcard. Children's book picture. As you can see, it's very, very similar. A few different things like this picture here, which I thought was really pretty pocket I made with the, you know, things I had cut out of the die, with the die cutting machine. Isn't that cute? Another old Chinese tapestry. Beautiful painting from one of my Walter Scott books. This is an, an illustration from the original book. Watercolor paper, field guide, tea stained popcorn bag with some ephemera in it. Onion skin. This is from my little Van Gogh book. from the um, art book from Stuttgart. That's the airport with a very old fashioned plane. Kind of makes me think of the movie Casablanca. Ingrid Bergman and Humphrey Bogart. Beautiful movie. This is part of a Cavallini poster. There's the rest of the Van Gogh. 
rest of the popcorn bag with a you know, just some different ferns from a book I have. I didn't want to take it out because it's a little hard to get it back in. So this is from the original book and uh, just look at the size of that tree. That's a person standing there and it's huge. When it says Valley of the Giants, it makes me think of the Redwoods. So apparently at one time they did cut down some of those trees. I love this Walter Foster painting. That's such a pretty one. Some beautiful mushrooms from the mushroom book. This is a little envelope with a Wizard of Oz poster. So, as you can see, these two books are very similar, but this one's just a little bit smaller, but they're both going to be at the farmer's market, or if my friend is interested in them, they would be available to her. So, thanks for watching. Bye.